Well, I think I fixed my 4x5 camera. Today we're going to find out. Today, Nori and I are out in the woods, a location we've never been before. We're out here to see if I've got my large format camera working. My fingers are crossed, my hopes are high. Hopefully I'm not being set up for a major disappointment. Recently I did a video where I was talking about how I added a Fresnel lens to my camera and hopes to make it brighter. And in that video, at the end of the video, I was very disappointed and I was really struggling to make images. I was very disappointed that it wasn't as bright as I had hoped. So what's changed? Well, I went out and purchased a new ground glass. My theory is while the Fresnel lens did help it a little bit. My ground glass is pretty old. It's an old camera. And I read somewhere that over time the ground glass can get dim. So I've got a new one. It's, it's not a high-end expensive one. I really don't have enough money for that. But I'm really hoping that this uh, new ground glass paired with this Fresnel lens will give me the brightness I need to make compositions with my 4x5 camera. I find it difficult to make compositions if I can't see what I'm <laughs> trying to make compositions of. Well, I'm going to set a composition up on something today and we'll find out if it's all roses or disappointment. And we're getting a chance to see some areas that I've never been in before and I'm actually kind of liking what I see here. I'm not sure what to photograph. There's so many ways to go here. <laughs> this is one of those locations I may have to get back to. I didn't realize this was even here. It's only about 20 miles from where I live. Just made a shot. This little bit of water here, this little over, little overflow from the main river. And it just kind of goes back to the uh, lighter foliage in the background. I ended up using a polarizing filter on this because it does. It is pretty, pretty white of a bug, so it really does add kind of a white sheen. And I, I didn't really want it quite that white, so. I don't use a polarizer on the 4x5 very often, so this will be kind of a, a good experiment too. So far, I'm, I'm able to compose the shots a lot easier. I think I think this is working. I'm pretty excited. It, it's pretty good when I can actually put a polarizing filter on it and still see the image. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to try to make a couple more shots on this on this little uh, rock shelf that we're on. I think there's probably multiple shots here. I didn't see anything in the forest that really seemed clean enough for composition. It's pretty cluttered. So I'm going to work in here a little bit. I think there's probably something here, some more shots here.
Well, it's starting to rain. So I kind of just kind of forced a few shots. <laughs> the good news is I think my camera's now usable. It'll never be bright like a regular SLR kind of camera, but it is much improved. So that old ground glass must have just been just a bit dim. And now we're uh, we're uh, able to at least see the whole frame. It's pretty easy to focus. The ground glass that I purchased was the um, E-Tones ground glass, and that's the same Fresno lens I from the same company I bought the Fresno lens from. I don't know if it's how it compares to other stuff, but it was only about 48 bucks for the uh, ground glass. That's that's really not too much. Not not too much when I'm considering when I was considering not using the camera more because I just it was just too dark. But I think we're in business now. It's still difficult, you know. It's upside down and reverse. It's still a challenge to compose. But it's uh, now it's doable for me anyway. So it's probably going to be a short video today. Just thought I'd do a little report back on how I'm getting along with this camera because we uh, we left it kind of on a sour note last time, and uh, I think we're in business now. This area that I, I stopped at right now, I'm in a park next to the area I was in earlier. I'm gonna have to get back in here. I really do think there's a lot of potential back there in the woods. Maybe something for maybe a color shot back in there. When I'm not testing my 4x5, I think I'll explore a little bit more back, back in there. It's a section of forest I've never been in before. Didn't realize it was even there or had trails into it. So I was actually this this little outing has uh, been pretty productive. I'm getting a lot of information that I didn't have before. But I think we're going to head back to the car. It's starting to rain a little bit harder now. And we'll make it back here for too long. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. day. We got rained out yesterday and so I decided I was going to come back out here do a few more photos. 